We are back in the kitchen making our perfect Mother's Day dessert, dessert? breakfast. Yes. Chocolate. Perfect every day. Perfect every, every day. Every day ends with a Y dessert. Chocolate banana craves. Perfect for Mother's Day. I know you mm -hmm. have a, a shout out. You want to say happy Mother's Day to a mom out there? Yes. You know what? I would like to say happy Mother's Day and thank you to um, Peggy out there. Her daughter, I had the pleasure of meeting her daughter in the restaurant and um, she says she's a big fan of the show. And I just want to say thanks a lot and say hello to her. So well, hi, look Peggy. right into the camera and say hi. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Peggy. Mother's Day, Peggy. <laughs> Give her a wink. There we there go. We go. <laughs> All right. So we are making homemade uh, caramel. Caramel. Yes. Now, um, this in itself, the process will probably take about 10 minutes. And you have to be kind of delicate with it because you do not want to burn something like this. Okay. It has a lot of sugar. And if you burn sugar or cream or butter, it's just, it ruins it's a, the just whole an, it's thing. an ugly mess. Okay. The whole thing's done. <laughs> and um, so you, what you want to do is it actually has some fresh vanilla. It has about a quarter pound of butter. What's in there butter. right now? This is corn syrup. Okay. And what you want to do, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring that up to a nice boil. Okay. And, and then, then what then, are um, we going to put in? And then we're going to put in about one and a quarter, one and a half cups of sugar. Is this one and a half cups? Yes. And we're going to pour it in kind of slowly, okay. if you wouldn't mind. And I know exactly how much sugar is in there, so don't try to... <laughs> Don't try to get away with it. And what kind of heat do you want it on? Okay, since you're going to bring it to a boil, go ahead and keep it up at high, and you're going to continue to do so. Now you're going to you can um, you're going to keep on stirring in the um, sugar itself. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Just for the I sake of. I don't want to mess you up. Oh, never, Andy, <laughs> never. So. You I try to stump you, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Okay, so, there you go. There we go. So now, eventually, the sugar is going to liquefy along with the um, corn syrup, and um, this takes probably about. Oh gosh, maybe about four minutes. Okay. You're gonna let this um, start to liquefy, and it's gonna start turn gold in color. Okay. Now, since we're on TV time, yeah. and that's real time, we're not gonna have time to go through that entire process. But we are gonna be able to kind of sneak peek and throw some of the other ingredients in. Okay. Now we're talking about other stuff. But I'd like to throw in the butter next, the if butter, you wouldn't mind. The whole thing. Yep. It's about a quarter pound of butter, and you're gonna incorporate that into the sugar itself. Now, one word of advice I want to say, a lot of times when you're making caramel, if you have done it at home, you'll find it gets a little thick. What I like to do is get a little pastry brush with mm -hmm. some water and just dab some water around the outside of it because what it does is add some liquid to it, and that's always a nice thing because but you don't want... it won't ruin the consistency because exactly. it's just a little exactly. bit. Exactly, and it tends to evaporate. Now, we're going to put in some heavy cream. Okay. And this is caramel for a reason. You're not going to have too many good things in it for you. Right. This is not healthy. Yes. That's you know right. what? For Mother's Day, is why really would you want to eat healthy. Exactly. I totally agree with you. So you incorporate all of these and then now the hard part. And it's going to hurt your arm because it, gosh, I get tired after this. That last four minutes, you're just going to start whisking the caramel. And you want to keep on whisking until it starts turning that golden color. And again, it's not going to look like this quite well. It'll be more of a golden consistency because you've already cooked right. sugar. When do we put the minutes. vanilla in? Now, after, you're going to do that after about that four minutes and now if you notice one thing I do want to give the advice for when you're doing this make sure that you come all the way across the end of the pan if you have a pot because you don't want anything on the edge to start burning. Okay. Sugar will burn very quickly especially under a high heat so you're just gonna whisk, whisk, I can see whisk, it turning whisk. color. Yeah but um, if anything it's a good workout for you. So okay. if you want to but do remember, a remember the moms eat, are not going to be doing this. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So what happens is once we start getting the consistency of the caramel, we're going to add a couple more things. That in that little espresso cup, which is not espresso, is vanilla. Can you see it? And it smells divine, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. What kind divine. of vanilla do you use? Um, you know, we actually have that made from a from a company on the other side of the, of the uh, on the East Coast. Okay. So um, it's a very very nice vanilla. I don't get it out of the store here, though. That is very good too. Okay. So we incorporate that. Then we incorporate just a little bit of kosher salt. Okay. The whole thing. The whole thing. Okay. And that is about a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then we go 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 go. And we're gonna pretend that I'm I'm sweating and I'm exhausted. You're at this working point. up a sweat because exactly. you love your wifey so much. I this know is what you're doing for her. I know I do. All right, well let's really so, fast forward oh, to the real okay. the real so, deal. Now we fast forward it and then we get to this. And believe it or not, that is going to turn this beautiful golden color. And the great thing about the caramel, you can refrigerate it after you're done. You've already had one try, I know, Andy. I just want to try How it many again. are you gonna have? Well, okay. <laughs> that's All a right. loaded question because I'm gonna have a lot. <laughs> So when we come back, yep. Then we're gonna put the whole thing together: the crepes that we made, bananas, this caramel chunky sauce, chunky monkey ice cream, chunky monkey ice cream, okay. vanilla ice cream. Mmm, mmm, yum. So